G'day guys, uh, Mimio here. Hope you're all doing well. Today I've got actually a bit of a different video for you guys. Uh, it's not quite the norm on this channel. Now the newest update to Rust has brought us electricity, uh, which is really, really cool. Pretty much they've added a whole bunch of new shit to the game that allows you to automate a lot of things or just make life a lot simpler. Uh, so I thought I'd just put together a really short, simple and sweet uh, tutorial on how to use some of the basic stuff uh, with the electricity. I know I don't really do like serious videos on my channel, but um, if it's not your cup of tea, then that's fine. This probably isn't the video for you. Uh, it's just, I know a lot of people are struggling with uh, how to use the electricity. I know it can be a bit of a, a mind fuck to get used to, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, so yeah, pretty much in this tutorial, I just want to show you a simple way that you can automate your doors to close on a timer. I'm also going to show you how to make sure your doors close in your base uh, when you walk over a pressure plate. And third and finally, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a really sweet and simple automated trap base uh, for your base. So as you can see here in my inventory, you've got all the new stuff that uh, Rust has added. Uh, there is a lot, and I know it can seem pretty confusing, but uh, bear with me. Also keep in mind, I am still learning things and, and trying to improve. So if you've got any feedback, please leave me a comment down below. And if you've got any friends that are struggling to figure out the new electricity update, I uh, just want to show them a simple and quick video. Uh, be sure to share this video around, but uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, I want to show you, this is my small generator here. Uh, this is what supplies power uh, to the different electrical components. Uh, you can use other sources of power, but I'll start with this one for now. Pretty much up first, I'm going to show you how to make this really sweet and simple uh, self-closing door. So it shuts behind you after a certain amount of time. Uh, so let me show you in action first before I teach you how to make it. Um, so you can set your own custom time. So I'm going to set this to close behind me after 5 seconds of it being open. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and open the door by pressing the switch. And then it'll, um... That hasn't... Hang on, that didn't... Sh okay, uh... Alright, that's a bit of a blooper. Uh, I'll probably get rid of that, but, um... Right, what have I done there? Okay, I fucked that. Actually mucked up there. Let me fix that up. You up there to that. Pair that to the door. Alright, my bad. Uh, okay, new design. <laughs> um, forget what I said before. Uh, so this is how to make your self-timer uh, door close behind you. So this is it in action. So you activate... Okay, why is that not even... No, that was working like a second. I fucked up the wire again. Let me... Comes out the output. Around the door? Around the door. Okay, oh, there's one on the side. Right, okay. Alright, so I'll show you the door in action uh, before I teach you how to make it. But this will essentially close behind you after five seconds. So you go ahead and activate... the. But why is that stuck now? What the fuck? I can't even switch this now. Do I need another wire? I can't do another wire. Right, scrap that one. Wait, why did that break? Probably needs more length or something. Needs more power, I think. Another generator. Alright, so before I teach you guys how to make it, I'm going to show you the door in action. So this will actually close behind me after five seconds. So when you want to leave your base, you flick the switch and your door will let you fucking... Does this need to be like active? How the fuck's that wire coming from? Oh, you. Alright guys, turns out I don't think I'm using the uh, right power source. <laughs> Uh, which is a bit embarrassing for this uh, kind of switch. So I'm going to try and get rid of these generators uh, really quick. There we go. Pick them up with the uh, the the hammer. So there's a little tip for you guys. You pick the the uh, generators up with the hammer. All right. So the power source I'm actually going to be using today is going to be the new solar panels uh, that they added. So you want to go ahead and place those. Uh, and these are going to use the light. That's a bit in the shade, isn't it? That's not, not getting any sun, is it? I put that on the wrong side. So you want to put them somewhere in your base uh, where they can be seen by the sun, uh, obviously. So that's how they get their power. Um, if you've got an actual base, you might have a roof, wouldn't you? All right, guys. So say this was the roof of your base. Uh, you would whack your solar panel on that's the generator. Uh, you would whack your solar panel up on your roof, just like that, so it can be seen directly by the sun. Uh, and now we're going to hook this up to our uh, to the switch to the to the door. Using our wire, we're gonna find where the wires go into it. There we go. Put this down. Why is that not making any wires? Okay, so you want to bring this down uh, into your back. Why is that going through the wall? So you want to bring it down to your uh, door switch, uh, and you want uh, you want to have another wire coming from the from the uh, door controller uh, into the top. Like that. I think I've fucked up the, the switch again. Right, so you're going to need a uh, third wire coming out of the bottom of uh, that one. And you want this to go uh, back up to... I've oh, fucked that up. Just up and around, up and around. And this goes 
This goes round to the front. There will be... There's going to be another... Okay, they're going to need another solar panel. Uh, so, welcome back, guys. You're going to need another solar panel. Um, so, you need two solar panels. One for your door controller, obviously. And one for the uh, door controller. So, just whack another solar panel down, guys. Get your electric output. Bring that round to the bottom here. Just make it nice and neat. Right, so it was a bit of a hassle, um, but uh, we figured it out. So now uh, we're going to press the switch. Uh, don't forget to set your, uh, what is it? Set your time. I'm going to set mine to 10 seconds this time. Uh, and when I flick the switch, the door's going to open, and then it's going to close behind me after 10 seconds. So it's pretty simple. So you press uh, activate switch, and uh, this will open the door. How can that be wrong, cunt? What have I... What'd that turn on? I don't think they're getting enough light from the from the sun. Alright guys, so it turns out uh, the time of day, I think, uh, matters. Uh, so you get enough sunlight hitting your solar panels. Um, something I actually wasn't aware of. What's this? Um, so since there's not enough light, uh, we need more light. So we're probably going to have to wait uh, for the sun to actually help us out and just create a bit more light for us uh, to power it. Hang on. Alright guys, so once you've got an alternate light source, uh, that'll generate more power for you uh, over your solar panels, uh, I'm assuming. So you want to go back and uh, hook this up. I'm trying to get to the output. Christ, wire that back down. Fuck me. And plug that into the side for the toggle on, obviously. I wasn't meant to have two of these fucking heal up. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, so we've got our uh, external lights set up. So, uh, you want to go ahead and activate the switch. Okay. Man, I don't know if I can do this. This is like, actually pissing me off now. What could possibly be the problem? It's probably the campfires are too hot and they're heating it up. Uh, sorry if this is taking a little longer, uh, the first one to set up. Like I said, I'm still uh, learning this myself. Uh, but if you are following along, uh, you know, you've made your stone base, uh, you've got a couple of stone tools together. Uh, go ahead and just break the campfires uh, with any tool that, that you might have in your base. Right, so I think the problem, uh, quite silly of me, was uh, all the campfires that I had. Uh, it actually looked kind of ridiculous, so uh, that's not the setup that you want. Alright guys, so you want to grab yourself a couple of uh, ceiling lights instead, um, and hopefully this will generate enough light uh, hitting the uh, solar panels uh, and powering the uh, basic switch that we have set up. So uh, I haven't tried this yet, but we'll go ahead and uh, try and turn all these on. Turn on, and oh my god. Alrighty, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I think the problem here is our wiring uh, is a little too complex, and I think uh, once you get you know, crossing wires and, and extended wires, uh, the power actually runs out and doesn't doesn't quite make it to the door. So I think if we just keep it nice and simple, all I'm going to do is, let me, how are we going to do this? One, come out there, down to here, then we come up, and then we just pair it to the door, and then we should, oh, what the fuck? Alright guys, so quick tip, uh, if your door isn't opening, uh, I think what we're meant to actually do is uh, use the laser detector. Uh, so when we walk up to the door, that'll activate the power, then we can use the switch. Uh, so I want to place this, uh, this here. So that's going to shoot uh, outwards this way. Why is it not on? I can't even get a red laser. Alrighty guys, so I actually have my laser here, as you can see, uh, it's set up off camera. Uh, why is it moving? Alright guys, I'm going to wire up my... Uh, laser sight here as you can see it's kind of glitchy it looks like it's moving uh but it is just set up there uh, as a motion detector so i'm gonna wire this up uh, to the door i'll show you how to do that uh maybe in a later video i'm just gonna do this uh off camera right now all right guys so if we walk uh, that's not gonna work so i'm just gonna have a, a real quick break uh and try and figure out uh how to actually uh, get this working in a more simple way uh so it benefits you guys so uh, i'll be back in a sec <sighs> come on Mimi. come on so Generator, the door, and switch. Fuck. And switch, what the fuck's an and switch? Yeah, you go to th that, you, another generator, and switch. Fuck. I have to go into fucking Rust HQ for this shit. Or switch, maybe that's it, or switch. B, I get it, I get it, I get it. Door controller, D there we go. Okay, and switch. What the fuck? Electrical branch. Was this a tree? Fuck it, it can go there. That... What the fuck's this? Maybe we needed that. Yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. To there. <laughs> and switch. <gasps> <gasps> Open. <sighs> switch. 
But, oh, you fucker. I'm fucking weak. Oh, come on, I can do this. This is it. This is it. More generators. More generators. Batteries? We need batteries. <laughs> For the love of God. Please just open and close this fucking door. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I did it! I actually fucking did it! Now how did I do it? Fuck sucks. Alright guys, so that was just a really quick and easy uh, way to use the new rust electricity to uh, make an automatic closing door behind you. Uh, now onto the trap base. So for the trap base, you're gonna need